third defibrillator for today, where we're trusting God for a word from within the word, Ezekiel 37. Amplified Bible, classic edition. And starting off at verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. So he's talking about a vision, or well, not even a vision, an encounter, where God brings him, sits him in the valley, and it now is full of dry bones. Well, full of bones. And he caused me to pass round about among them. And behold, there were very many human bones in the open valley or plain. And behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. And again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath and spirit to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and I will put breath and spirit in you and you dry bones shall live and you shall know understand and realize that I am the Lord the sovereign ruler who calls forth loyalty and obedient service so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a thundering noise and behold a shaking and a trembling and a rattling and the bones came together, bone to its bone. They were all connected. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews upon the bones. And flesh came upon them, and skin covered them over. But there was no breath or spirit in them. Then said he to me, Prophesy to the breath and spirit, son of man, and say to the breath and spirit, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath and spirit, and breathe upon the slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath and spirit came into the bones, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceedingly great host. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are completely cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back home to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord, your sovereign ruler, when I have opened your graves and caused you to come out of your graves, O my people. And I shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then you shall know, understand and realize that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, said the Lord. Phew. How amazing is that? So here he is, sitting with the Father in the valley, dry bones. God gets him to walk around, and he does, and he speaks what the Lord says to speak into those bones. But he's using an analogy saying that he has my people even though they are physically alive, they are totally spiritually dead. Totally spiritually dead. Now, why didn't God just go and do it? He needs you and I to take what he lays on our hearts to speak it to the people. To speak into people's lives who are spiritually dead. They're in a grave. They are blinded. They do not see what God sees. They do not experience what God has for them. And it takes us to take the word of God as he prophesied, uh, uh, prophesied what God commanded him to say. So must we. Go unto who I send you and say whatever I tell you to say. See, it's not about us. It's about God. But he wants us to speak in to the physical that what has been done in the spiritual. And he said, I will bring you out of that. 
I will breathe life into you. I will cause you to live again. I will bring you back. I will take you to the place that you need to be. Each and every one of us was designed or is designed for a purpose. Something specifically for you. Now what the enemy would love you to do is just to ignore it. Just to wake up every day. Go to work every day. Come home every day. Have your supper. Watch a bit of TV. Go to sleep. Live for the weekend. Live for your yearly holidays. And you know what? Be comfortable. And enjoy your life. It doesn't work that way. Not in the kingdom of heaven. It's not for us to be comfortable. You see, this is what he says in verse 6. Realize that I am the Lord, the sovereign ruler, who calls forth loyalty and obedient service. God needs us to serve his agenda in people's lives. When you see a person in front of you, you need to be asking the Father, what is it that you have me do in this person's life? Sovereign means total control over absolutely everything. I mean, look at him. Speak to the bones and they will rise. Now, it was the Spirit of God that made them rise, that connected them together. But that was the, through the obedience of a man listening to what the Father said to him. You can call it praying. You can call it conversation. But we seriously need to connect to God today and say, what is it that you have me do? Tell me, Lord, and speak it. Don't worry about it if you're going to mess it up. Don't worry about it if you're not going to get the right words. Because it's God that does it. He just needs you to be loyal to him. Or he requires it. Loyalty. And then he also requires you to be obedient. Just listen to what I tell you. And do it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Loyal. Uh, what does loyal mean? Loyal, faithful in allegiance to one's lawful sovereign or government. Faithful to a private person to whom faithfulness is due. Faithful to a cause. <laughs> Loyalty. A loyal friend. Listen, friend. I'm telling you that you are a friend of God. I've seen how he acts towards you. How he's been so faithful. How his goodness is there for you. How he's patient and kind. How he does it for you. Holds no records or wrongs. And always looks for the good. While telling you the truth. I can see that. Listen to what he's telling you. And do it. Don't live in that life any longer. Come out. Live. I speak over your life now in Jesus' name. I do. You dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. He will cause breath and spirit to enter you and you shall live. And he will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and will put breath and spirit in you and you dry bones shall live. You shall know and understand and realize that he is the Lord, the sovereign ruler who calls forth loyalty and obedient service. Heavenly that, Father, we thank you for this word today. Thank you, Father, that you have us in heart. That you are mindful of us in everything you say and do. And Father, for today, I truly feel that some of us are those dry bones. That you've spoken upon us and raising us from that dead place, Father. Bringing life and purpose. Reminding us that you have one more day for us to live. For us to touch and change a person's life. But Father, for today, I think it's our chance to be touched. 
and changed by you. Breathe life into us, Father. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.